Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, playing as House Coherus. Coherus? Coharis? Hmm. I'm convinced that George spelt some of these things really weird just to f me. It's kind of like how Yawnwood is spelt with a yawn, but kind of looks like iron, so it's, it's ironwood. Why not just call them ironwood, George? <laughs> anyway, I digress. I'm just gonna say, I'm pretty sure it's Coheres, like Ares. But Coheres, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. People will vehemently and aggressively correct me in the comment section if I'm incorrect, and I will proceed to not care. And I will probably mispronounce it on purpose throughout the entire video, just to mess with you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who House Cohagus is, <laughs> Cohagus. <laughs> They were the Lords of Harrenhal, the original Lords of- uh, The original Lords of Harrenhal were burnt and turned into barbecue by Aegon's dragons. These guys took over afterwards. Very briefly. Starting with the reign of Sir Quinton Cohagus, the Master of Arms of Dragonstone. Quinton was uh, succeeded by his grandson, Lord Garon the Guest, uh, who was murdered in a rebellion by Harren the Red, allegedly one of the descendants of Harren the Black, during the reign of King Aenys I. After which, House Harroway was granted the lands, and uh, it, yeah, Harren Hall had a procedural generation of lords that were all mysteriously murdered, leading to the rumour that the castle was basically haunted, it was cursed. Anyone that becomes the Lord of Harrenhal eventually, sooner or later, dies in some way or another. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will change history for the better, or for the worse, maybe. We'll find out. We'll change history, though. House Cohenis will, uh, will, will survive. <laughs> For those of you that are new to the channel and the long-form RP content that I tend to do, uh, we have RP rules, but they're very loose. They're uh, situational. Basically, the idea is to form an interesting story and avoid steamrolling the entire game. Like, it, winning is not the objective here. Having fun and making an interesting story is the objective. So we have certain rules. I can't do things that don't make sense, basically. It's very straightforward. I can't, for instance, have Lord Gargon... Uh, make an alliance with the Danes of Starfall unless for some reason I happen to befriend the Danes of Starfall through events, feasts, tournaments. I have to have some connection to the lord or lady in question for me to actually have diplomacy with them. With few exceptions being neighboring factions, like it's reasonable that I could have relations with the Brackens or the Goodbrooks or the Darries or even the Blackwoods because we're river lords, we both have the same liege lord there's a reason there that I could talk to these people. That makes sense. It has to make sense in the story, ladies and gentlemen, basically. It's very, very straightforward. It's just purely to stop me from steamrolling the entire game and just winning everything in a couple of episodes or like half an hour. So yeah, Crusader Kings is not a difficult game. It's not a difficult game when you have over like 200,000 hours of playtime. So I have to take a page out of Tywin's book and break my own knees with hammers, metaphorically, via RP in order to slow myself down and make it not boring for you guys. At any rate, uh, Aegon the Conqueror has been sitting on the Iron Throne for many years now, ladies and gentlemen. About 36, to be precise. Uh, he's in good, strong health at the age of 62. He's uh, married to his wife, Queen Visenya, and they have two sons. Prince Megor, who is not going to be a problem at all, and the uh, the Prince Aenys, who has so many kids now, actually. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get up to shenanigans, I think. Shenanigans. See... I always, I, I think to myself, the reason Gorgon never married is because he couldn't find a Valerian bride. And that's like, the, that's the reason. This is why the Coheri's line ends, lads. Because Gorgon can't get laid. Nobody wants to marry Gorgon. I'm attending a dance in Driftmark and spend some time. Am I really fucking with... No, no, no. I, I, I'm really, I am really fucking with Magor the Mad Flame. Yeah, sure. Piss off Prince Magor. That's gonna go well. That would be a really good match. Marrying a Valoran girl. Nope. Visenya died of old age. What will Vigar do now? I don't know how the realm's gonna react when Aegon dies, honestly. Nothing good, most likely, I wager. I will lay Lena if it's the last thing I do, damn it. Which it may well be. Jaehaerys has tamed a young Vermifor. That's Aenys' kid, basically. Ooh, uh... Lena's father, Lord Daemon, invites me to a hunt. I did not hesitate to accept. If I knock up Lord Valoran's daughter, he'll have no choice but to uh, allow me to marry her. I can make this work. I can make this work. All I have to do, I have to bribe him with a bunch of gold. 
and that I have to promise a grand wedding, but he will let me marry his daughter. I am a great lord of the house. I am also of Valerian blood. He doesn't like me very much, because I'm a fat, lustrous, sadistic asshole, but uh, he will let me bang his daughter. For the right for, well, for the right price, basically. For the right price. So, yeah, screw you. We're marrying a Valorian girl. Try to bang her sister at the wedding. That's so, so him. Uh, yeah, we're absolutely doing that. Alright, this costs us basically the entire fortune of Harren Hall, but it's happening. Yeah, he is absolutely 100% trying to try to bang his bride's sister at the wedding. Oh, we are actually, he has actually found a soulmate. They're actually happy. What man this is this? Weddings are just politics. Finally see her. No, I mean, he's been, he's been pursuing this chick for like 12 billion years. They are soulmates, ladies and gentlemen. Still gonna try to bang his sister though. <laughs> Yep, well the wedding ceremony finally reaches its climax. Both myself and my spouse are asked for permission, blah blah. I can't imagine anything better. Okay. I don't think she feels the same way about you as you do her, but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I do, yes. I'm still gonna try to bang her sister stuff. I collect a heavy mouthful of the sauce coating my portion of the boar. We maintain eye contact the entire time. I can see from the look of her face that she gets the message. There is a 89% chance that she's gonna he's gonna bang his wife's sister at the wedding. At the wedding? He's you know <laughs> Why, Gorgon? This came my love at Jesus Christ. He just banged his sister. Money well spent, ladies and gentlemen. Money well spent on these in seahorses. <laughs> Does she have other sisters we can bang? That one we're banging. The mad seahorse is also bangable. No, she's traveling at the moment. Actually, I think she's at the wedding, right? Yeah, the mad seahorse is at the wedding. Let's try and shag the other sister. If he can shag both sisters at the wedding before it ends, this man is a chad. <laughs> Chambers by Rockers wedding party. The echoing the party disposes. The door slams behind us. The last witnesses. Continuing another hall. But the family is no doubt for this thing. I've been waiting for this all night. 96% chance that this goes well. <laughs> Where's the option for let's invite your sister? Unfaithful. I know everything about you and your sordid affair. Do not waste your breath denying it. Christ, she knows that I shagged. She knows that I shagged her sister. Finally, the last set of guests to leave. The people's laughter still lingering in the air. They feel satisfied. What an amazing day. Yes, he banged his wife and his wife's sister. Giga Chad. Giga Chad, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute Giga Chad. We have an heir. My son and heir. Been so brave, so strong. Words go. One day, child, you will carry my legacy. What name would befit a lord? What name better than Aegon, ladies and gentlemen? Aegon Coheris. After the king. Yes, the glorious king. And the boy has not inherited uh, the frickin' slow trait of Gargon, so he will far surpass his father, definitely. Which won't be difficult, because his father's done nothing but just sleep with everything that moves. Oh, she was pregnant. <gasps> she was pregnant. There was no longer the slightest doubt in my mind. My acquaintance has given birth to a daughter, and we both know that I am her father. Thankfully, it's kept quiet about me, and no one else knows the truth, at least for now. I mean, I'm guessing since we promise to break it off and we do she doesn't want a thing and he is the heir she's passing it off as her own daughter by the tall heart dude and she's all the way in the north so i honestly think larissa just has the kid and doesn't tell him about it at all but i will pin it to keep an eye on them see what they do have to hey my wife is pregnant again jesus that was quick i mean i'm guessing because of all the stuff that Gar garan's freaking fertility must be like ridiculously good Technically speak, we promised that we wouldn't shag the uh, the other sister. We didn't say anything about this one. Hey, they have another son. Um, honestly, do we name it after? Because Prince uh, Prince Megor died. So I think, being the Targaryen loyalists that we are, until given a reason not to be, uh, Gargan names his second son Megor after the late Prince Megor. He's a, he's a scumbag, and he's gonna die a scumbag, so he is totally just gonna keep trying to shag his sisters. He is the blood of the dragon! Kind of. Her, beside her, and then the rich liberation of wine over her chest. My god, man! I mean, that fits so well with his character because of how obese he is and how, like, gluttonous he is. But that does, that does technically make my kids, like, my heirs, technically cousins with the future heirs to the Iron Front. He's gonna go back on his word and shag the other girl up north as well. Because he can, ladies and gentlemen. He cannot control himself. Oof. Tough luck, kid. He, uh, Aelor Coheris, uh, unfortunately inherited slow from his father. That's not great. But he is the third son, so it's fine. My attention is unwavering. As her bodice 
brushes up against me. When I reach over to embrace her, I find that she also had her attention elsewhere. As the fox disappears into the plains, our naked flesh is already cradled by the soft earth. Okay. He's now banging all sisters, except for the last one, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for the trifecta. He is going for the goal. He is an absolute idiot. <laughs> he's just an idiot. He's an absolute idiot. He just likes the idea that he's slept with all of her sisters. Absent mind tells me everything I need to know, yet I fear the consequences. Aaron's liege King Aegon and his agents could be hiding in the shadows, listening for the walls. She will be mine. Uh oh. King Aegon's rough. Uh, less than sturdy, but nothing else. Open my door, darling. It is I. I tap the fingers. What do you call my granddaughter in law, you worthless bed sewer? I look up as King Aegon is leaning out of the window above me. Uh, find the lead. Well, he tried. <laughs> An attempt was made. An attempt was made. I think he'll go looking for uh, easier targets. But he doesn't kind of... I think some part of him is... Feeling guilty about the fact that he just bangs everything that moves. But he's not going to stop. <laughs> One thing we are going to do, do while Aegon is still alive somehow. Because he is just extremely fucking chadly. Uh... I, I am going to uh, send my boys to ward the king as an apology for having tried to sleep with his uh, daughter-in-law. Uh, my bad, dude. My bad. That or it's more of a demand. Like, I, I tried to do this, I've stepped out of line, and now he's taken both of my sons. But you know, he's uh, basically just going to continue shacking everything that moves. Aelor is constantly ill, so I'm not looking... To, I, yeah, I'm not too confident about his future. But we are constantly popping out more kids, so I'm pretty sure my fertility is like 200% or something. It occurs to me that I have been muted this entire time. Uh, so, yeah. Welcome to the rule of little, of little Aegon. Uh, little Aegon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm squiring for the Conqueror. And the Lord of Harrenhal, in the, uh, with the departure of my late father, who died in his sleep. Uh, or Slash was murdered by one of his various lovers, most likely. But yeah, uh, Aegon takes over. The construction of Harrenhal is underway. It's going to take like five years and all of my money, but it is what it is. We are betrothed with promise of a, uh, a grand wedding to Daenerys Targaryen, the second daughter of Prince Aegon. So yeah, all is well. I mean, my father passes and I'm just being tutored by and squired by King Aegon Targaryen. The Conqueror will teach me his ways. Apologies that you missed the, uh, the betrothal and my... Lord Father's death, but, uh, well, I was muted at the time. Slash RP reasons is he was off shagging somebody and probably died in their bed. But yes, working in the assumption that, uh, my mother will be handling the betrothals. She has ties to the Blarons, so that's potentially... She'd tie us more to her family, I feel like. Interestingly, she's refusing marriage. She's just ruling as my regent. And, uh, until I come of age. That's probably as good a match as uh, Magor is ever going to get. It's Valerian blood. It's a distant cousin, but it's a decent enough match. Can't complain. And it makes sense that my mother would make that. So there you go. Magor gets his uh, Valerian blooded betrothal. Which would make sense. Yeah. I mean, that's... Again, I'm going from the perspective of this is my mother's doing. And she is the daughter of Lord Damon, Of uh, the High Lord of Dragonstone. And, the you know, he's got big political sway, Lance. The master of ships on the Conqueror's Council. Does she organize her daughter to be betrothed to the youngest son of Prince Jaehaerys? I think so. That makes sense. That's a decent... That's. I mean, hell, it's a, it's a royal match. It's one of the younger sons, but it's still a royal match. No! The king is dead! Monarch King Aegon has summoned me. He is on his deathbed, and there is little time left. There are a few other people nearby, all standing summonly. With a labored breath, King Aegon proclaims me a knight. The joy I feel is quickly replaced by my feelings of regret and sorrow as I am told by a servant that he will not survive within the hour. That is... That is something that... Like, our Aegon is never going to forget for the rest of his entire life. He could have done anything on his deathbed, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure he did other things as well. But on his deathbed, as one of his final acts, the Conqueror himself decided that I was worthy to be knighted. I've been made a knight. Dragon and da 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 da. Balerion just resides with Aegon's family. What will Balerion do now? Succession of the Iron Throne. A letter marked the seal of House Targaryen has arrived at the King's Landing. 
Uh, Raven's spread. Da, da, da. King Aegor died of old age. According to the laws of inheritance, Aenys Targaryen has proclaimed the rightful successor of these seven kingdoms. While some mourn the passing of his grace, word has it that some have begun to voice their discontent away from the public eye. Before resuming my tasks, I wonder for a brief moment, what shall his rule begin? Only time will tell. It would appear that whoever the hell tutors Aegon ends up dying, uh, because the King Aenys is now dead as well. You taught me so much, Aenys. No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't. He was alive for like two seconds. What will Quicksilver do now? Absolutely fuck all. Aegon II, the Crackling Flame, is now in charge of Westeros, ladies and gentlemen. Died from being ill. Uh, Aenys died from being ill. May he rest in peace. Aegon has been proclaimed king. Some mourning the past of his grace. Some others have begun the voice that can discontent. Only time will tell. Uh, the Tullys are getting their asses kicked, by the way. I'm just kind of not involving myself. I feel like my mother just is keeping us out of the war. Because she's, like, hyper-protective. Considering the fact that so many Targaryens are dropping like flies, ladies and gentlemen, I figure we may as well host the Grand Wedding real quick. Which has used all of my gold, but there we go. I could claim the High Lordship, but then they won't be my vassal anymore. So... I'm gonna claim Darry. I'm gonna steal Darry from the Darrys. I, I gain legitimacy and a bunch of other stuff, and a Wheat Hook favors on him, and yeah, and I get fame. We will expand our borders. The Tully will do nothing about it, because fuck the Tullys. They can't stop us. I am compassionate, so I think Aegon would spare the people he gets. This, this is a bit close, though. This is a bit close. Way closer than I'd expected. My mother is fighting in the battle? Why? <laughs> Why? Not much of a choice but to go beat up these lads before they group up with Darry. Okay, well, I've got allies. Fuck you. I can call them friends as well. I have a Celtigar in my court? Oh. Okay. A Snapping Crab is in my court. I didn't, I didn't even know I had a Celtigar in my court. Apparently I do. Oh, victory's won. I guess they come escorting the Nanny's chick because she's betrothed to Annie's, so that's a thing. My, uh, my ultimate plan is to, like, take Lake Haven, take Maidenpool, take the Darylands. And just surround the God's Eye and the Harrenhal lands. So have the Duchy of Harrenhal just be, yeah, very, very strong. And we need to find out who the hell's trying to kill me. The king hated my guts. He was my rival at one point. So I'm kind of intended to, uh, I think it was probably that. I think it was probably the king, ladies and gentlemen. I have a general rule, uh, as far as the RP stuff's concerned, is I don't use the counselor's ability to fabricate claims on things. The only claims I can push are ones I inherit or my lords inherit. So the reason that Lord Butterwell could claim Darry is his mother was a Darry. The alternative to doing this is just getting my septum to just claim lands and fabricate them. But that's so goddamn easy that it's not fun. My, uh, my sister Visenya marries Prince Vagon, the king's uh, youngest brother. As part of my mother's old alliance. Hey, my wife hatched a dragon. I didn't even know she had an egg. I guess Aegon gave her one. Daenerys is, I think, the only thing stopping the king from killing me. <laughs> the king is not happy about the marriage, but Daenerys is, so it's kind of a it's a very awkward brother-in-law situation. I oh, know Daenerys is not Aegon's sister; it's his daughter. Yeah, he's not happy about me having married his daughter. <laughs> I thought it was his sister. Never mind. I am bonding with my wife's dragon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm tossing a slab of meat towards Ravagon. Ravagon. The line must continue because someone is still, I think, trying to kill me. So, or oh, they've given up, maybe. I, I think it's the king. I swear it's the king because I'm banging his daughter. Maybe he's given up now, though, because he's, he's not friends with me, but he's chill. Is Darry dead yet? Yeah, no, he is. So, in theory, I can push more of Lord Butterwell's claims. To get the Lordship of spider Go, and Tully's not going to do anything about it, because Tully's a little bitch. <laughs> the grim atmosphere is pierced with a cry. I spur my horse and gallop to the foot of a tree, where I discover the source of the wailing. The babe looks up at me, waddled in muck and gore. His mother grasps her new smear feet above. Uh, the boy looks Valerian. He is high Valerian, nonetheless. Rhaegal can't leave the child out here. Mm, it is common for men of war to return with bastards. I think Daenerys would understand. And he is honest and and compassionate. I think Daenerys is going to be upset about it, but I think it's very Aegon and I yeah, I I'm going to I'm going to bring the kid back and we're going to declare it my bastard. I think he'll tell Daenerys the truth that he isn't, but it just to protect the kid. 
like that. I, I lose 100 of stress because I'm compassionate. You, you come with me, kid. You come with me. Wriggle Rivers. I would say, unironically, that uh, our father, Gargan, was got around so much that this might actually just be one of his kids. Or maybe one of his, his grandkids. Like, it's somehow related to him in some manner. It's, yeah. Otherwise, it's very odd that uh, you find a Valerian child in this neighborhood. Like, it was probably... The, it's probably a grandson. This is probably my freaking nephew or something. I don't know. Yeah, he. my brother died of a botched treatment. He had pox. His wife is pregnant, though. And he had a son before he died. The sickness. The sickness is spreading, but... Which makes Agor my heir. Who's in King's Landing? So who shouldn't get the f***ing pox? Although I say that, uh, Prince Maker's got the pox as well. Uh, I just betrothed my... Yeah. I just betrothed my son to the heir to the Iron Throne. Oh. If if the pox kills Maker and I just inherit the Iron Throne, that'll be the... Okay. <laughs> Realistically, I, that's, that's definitely not gonna happen, right? I would honestly totally RP breaking that betrothal, but if I do, I'm pretty sure all the Targaryens will be absolutely- they'll have like a blood feud with me if we break betrothals. So, there you go. My Daenerys takes to the sky on the back of Rovagon. Crowds are fascinated, word is he's content with relatively little feed, and the realm shepherds thank him for it. But such hearsay is often misguided. That's in- uh, that's- that's funny. It's- yeah. Though there is no conclusive way to prove it, has Master Fingerjig, oh, someone in the north has brought forth evidence that uh, the Lord of the Lord of Torren Square, the the head of House Tolhart, is uh, not the son of Lord Tolhart, but he was in fact fathered by my father, Lord Gorgon. Yeah, he was. How could my own father do this to us? Seven, on the other hand, has no blame in this. Yet his repercussions might be dire. I have a loss for words. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll maintain close relations with the Targaryens. I mean, after all, Aegon was raised by the Conqueror himself. He was basically raised by Targaryens. He more or less sees himself as a Targaryen in all but name. And his, you know, his children are married to the Targaryens. They're very, 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 very close to the Iron Front. Honestly, they're more Bannermen of the Crownlands than they are of the Riverlands, because they do not pay attention to House Tully. House Tully has no fucking control over this whatsoever. <laughs> it's kind of fucking hilarious. How little control they have. Just as uh, Aragon was squired by the Conqueror, my boy Aegor will be uh, squired by the king now as well. Squire. Oh shit, what? No! He was slain in ba by who? Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. I'm gonna end up being king of the Iron Throne. I don't wanna be king of the Iron Throne. <laughs> I don't want it, damn it. He was my cousin. Though I was not fond of him, the last is shocking, not enough. Oh, you were fond of him. News, King was slain in battle. He may respond to peace of the Lord inheritance. Aemon Targaryen has been proclaimed the rightful successor. This is potentially bad. His regent is his mother and uncle or something. I don't know, Targaryen family trees. This is potentially troublesome because he's sickly. If the kid dies, she inherits and she's betrothed to my boy. I don't want to inherit the Iron Front. <laughs> What are you- what are you doing? Oh, what have you done, Valeron? What have you done, dude? Gods be good. What are you doing? An independence war. Against fucking everybody. You're insane. Uh, you- you've completely lost the plot, Valeron. You don't have a dragon, do you? You can't do anything. No, you don't have a dragon. He's my cousin. Well, never let it be said that we aren't loyal to the Targaryens. Wait up, your grace. I'm coming. I am coming. I will not have it said that House Coheris stood by and did nothing while the Valerian dogs rose up in rebellion. There you go. Yeah, this uh, this war's cut and clean, lads. There's nothing about this one. Really. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they're thinking or why they did this. Oh, he died. He was he was killed by the dragon in battle. Well, things are going well at the very least. Uh, young Aemon is still sickly. His regent is actually the Lord of the Vale. Hopefully the boy doesn't die. I do not want to inherit the Iron Throne via marriage. It is not something that I had planned. <laughs> well, we, uh, we we might be about to fix this whole inheriting the Iron Throne thing, because Aegor doesn't want to marry her. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't want to marry her. Where do I start for most? I can't stand her. My betrothal will not find satisfaction with a man like me. Please, father, please don't make this. I don't know what he means like that. Because he's not gay. And she's 11. So... But shut up, Egor. Do what you're told. Nope. What, what have you done? What have you done? You've run away. He just disinherited himself. Seriously? <laughs> Fuck. God damn.
damn it, Igor. This war is far from over. 